Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant, sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we start our day again with a mixed bag. Now, it's not just a slight mix out there, and the mix is coming from the Dow, which is trading down 67 points. Otherwise, all the other U.S. indices are trading to the upside. S&P is up 10. NASDAQ 100 is up 65. Russell's up 5. Semis are up 65. Trend is up 78. New York Stock Exchange is up 60 points. Gold's up 37 bucks. Silver's up a buck. 18. Light tree coot is flat down eight pennies right now. Natural gas up three cents. 30 year treasury up one point and 12 ticks. Print out at 118.01. So let's go figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We'll begin with the ES Mini upper left hand side. Yesterday, the ES Mini negated its TD9 count top. Not a problem because what it's got still is a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. But if price closes about 55.85 at day's end or anytime, it'll negate that signal out there. Price is trading above the top of its profile, 55.69. Now, I wouldn't be surprised to see price close back below that by the session end. Session end is just two hours from now. If we take a look at the spot volatility, it's still trading below its 50-day exponential moving average. That gives uh, buyers the edge. If we take a look at the NQ, uh, it would negate its TD9 count top today with a close above 20, 20, 71. It does have resistance up at the top of its daily profile, and that resistance level is at the uh, 2371 area. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, gold, silver trade to the upside, I'm sure being influenced a little bit by the move inside the U.S. dollar index. What we can see here, though, right now is Price is testing the bottom of its daily profile. So it's testing its first level of support. And that's at 103.41. We're trading right now at 10. Oops, that's not correct. We're trading right now at 104.83. So watch the 104.80. 104.81. I'm not sure if I said my cursor might have been the wrong spot. So support is at 104.81. I want to just make sure I clarify that. We're sitting at 104.83. Now, price moves below or closes below the bottom of that daily profile. There's new, There's additional support, and that's at 104.52. .54, so really... Just a sideways consolidation, nothing to get too excited about out there. If we take a look at gold, which has been trading into consolidation, it is trading above the top of its profile. That's at 23.59. A close above that today would suggest a rally up to the top of the profile, at the top of the, I'm sorry, up to the top of the consolidation, the 2470 area. You've got silver, which is taking on a descending trend line. It looks bullish. If we take a look at light speed crude. It's interesting. It's trying to form a new profile, which is below price out there. That basically is a bullish message. 82.28 is a level of support to the downside. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Zed Show. But if you're up to start your Wednesday, have a wonderful one. A happy 4th of July. And look forward to seeing you again on Friday, 11 a.m. sharp. Take care.